truth of the word and reaching the youth. Saving souls of the old, doing God's work with more to do. And he turning up every week and get lit. Get bigger than church on Sunday. You can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. The last call. Today, I want to just take a moment to focus on that point in your life, that point when the call became clear, that point when the call was understood and accepted. I, I, I need you to catch this this morning because peace that passeth understanding cannot be obtained until you understand, accept, and implement the words of the last call on your life. And I've come this morning, and, I, and, and, and it is my desire that you would please take my wisdom instead of reliving my experiences. That what it is you are looking for can only be discovered when you submit yourself and hearken to the last call that God made to you. God is beginning to move this church, this ministry, and you from seeing things in the natural to seeing them in the supernatural. He's getting, he's for he who has an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to you, God is, because see, you've been looking at things in the natural. When you look at things in the natural, you miss what he's trying to say. Because our God operates in the supernatural. He's beginning to move us now from natural to supernatural. When you understand supernatural, natural don't bother you no more. Jesus is building his body. You and I are the body of Christ. What he's saying is, I'm trying to find somewhere to lay my head. I'm trying to find somewhere to lay. I wish I had somebody in here. When his head is up on me, he knows that he can speak to me, and I will go where he tells me to go. When he is the headship of my life, he knows that he can give me direction, purpose, and goal, and I will do whatever it is he's telling me to do. So he said, watch this. He says, the foxes have holes, the birds have nests, and the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. What I've come to tell you, body of Christ, is that you are the body of Christ. That because we are the body of Christ, you are to come and you are to get the culture of the kingdom of heaven. You're to get that down inside of you, Rome. <laughs> and then Jesus can send you to your communities, to your families, to your job, and you are to affect that place because you have the culture down on the inside of you. Not everybody is going to come to church, but when they have an experience with you, they've had an experience with church. Why? Because God is using you to carry his gospel. You are also a man under authority. You only do what your father tells you to do. <laughs> and you only say what your father tells you to say. But you rule not with hands, you rule with words. So everything that's under your dominion, sickness, darkness, Satan, brokenness, poverty, lack, all of those things that are under you, when you speak to it, I, I, I wish I had. God says, I've given you authority. I know that you have faith in me, but do you have faith in your word? And I, I've come to talk to somebody today because I need to remind you that you are stronger than you think you are. I need to remind you. Listen, come, come here. Let me talk to you. Don't you know why you didn't die when you didn't come to church for two years? It's because it's not the church on the outside, honey. It's the church on the inside that kept you sustained. That's why you didn't die. That's why you didn't give up. Because you used your authority. 
Let, come here, come here. Let, let, me, let me talk to you. It's not about what you think it's about. What you're seeing is not really what you're seeing. The enemy is trying to keep you from using your authority. He knows that if you get the anointing all, and if you anoint your child with it, the strongholds have to flee. The enemy knows that if you grab your spouse by the hand and you get down on your knees and say, baby, we're not going to worry about this. This sickness is not unto death. God has given us the authority. You think that this is the end and you forgot that I'm with you. The authority, what I'm trying to get you to do, Jesus is trying to get them to learn these principles because I'm not going to be with you always. I need somebody to get this thing. You're not going to always be able to call mama. You're not going to always be able to call daddy. You're not going to always get in touch with pastor. And when you don't, you got to be able to go to your closet for yourself and decree and declare a thing. Pastor, you're speaking the truth of the word. Saving souls of the old to a